What's good YouTube? Bullish Shark here. Buy the dip, squeeze the shorts, and call pennies before paying all the chips blue. Welcome to another weekly watch and get ready for some green on the screen. Treasury yields slide as investors monitor the COVID-19 outbreak in China. Shanghai dealing with lockdowns and crude fell below 100 in a falling wedge as gold stabilizes at 1905. The FTSE's up and Shanghai futures are down about a percent and a half. Twitter accepted Elon Musk's offer of $43 billion. Doge popped, looking for continued momentum in the Nasdaq, especially MSFT, Alphabet reporting earnings after close today, Meta, ADP, PayPal, Ford, TDoc tomorrow, Twitter, Apple, Amazon, Intel, Robinhood, McDonald's on Thursday. LMND as renters insurance of the future. Liability policies in Germany and Netherlands heating up as the stock is down 86% from its highs. They have about $128 million on the balance sheet and RSI is untapped. Look at a crossover of the 40-day moving average of 2387 for a breakout to the moon. JWN, that's Nordstrom Rack, masks off and reopenings upon us. Nordstrom will be the primary beneficiary of all the delayed COVID weddings. Their line, The Wedding Shop, has grown in popularity over the last few years and is now set for takeoff. Looking at the composite loyalty index, and Nordstrom shoppers are amongst the most loyal compared to other premium fashion retailers. Tess is Tesco Tech, supplier of wireless communication products for network infrastructure, site support, and various broadband networks. A lot of big internet names turning to Tess for outsourcing services as tech and semiconductor shortages require maximum efficiency. Snack, crackle, pop. This thing is ready to rock. Called her out early, but overall market weakness has brought Snap to a buy. They posted a slight miss on revenue and earnings last week, but remained somewhat stable. Robust revenue growth, strong user growth up 18% year over year. CYN, essentially no shares left to short. Market cap of 65 million, up 66% on the month, and new AV tech line grabbing investors from all over. Syngen is a former operating system developer that changed its course to autonomous vehicle development a few years back. On 421, Syngen introduced its autonomous vehicle solution, the Drive Mod Kit, following which Syngen shares jumped about 91% by EOD. M-U-L-N. With the recent sell-off, Mullen is sitting pretty right now. Also, shares are in the spotlight after EVgo hinted at a collaboration between the two companies. This collab with EVgo would allow Mullen owners to expand charging capabilities across the country. Watch M-U-L-N for a break over 156. CMCSA, the Netflix killer. Subsidiaries include Xfinity, NBC Universal, and Comcast. Set to report first quarter 2022 results on April 28th. Zax is in no way biblical, but they're anticipating a whopping 30 billion in revenue, which would be close to a 12% growth year over year. Improvement in customer experience from expanding its Wi-Fi and innovative XFi control features is expected to have aided subscriber growth. EDRY, aka Eurodry, sold off almost 20% yesterday and is now more poised than ever, plus almost 5% in the pre market. Eurodry provides ocean going transportation services worldwide. The company owns and operates dry bulk carriers that transport major bulk such as iron ore, coal, and grains. Eurodry recently acquired MV Santa Cruz as well as Panamax. Eyes on Eurodry, looking more and more like a younger Brunswick. MATX, another shipping empire. The company's ocean transportation segment offers ocean freight transportation services to Hawaii, Alaska, and Guam. The company recently announced a quarterly dividend with a DPR of 5.55%. Hedges like Alice Bernstein and Wells Fargo continue to increase their position size here. Well, enjoy some green on the screen and to the moon.